So, pretty excited to show you the new kid packs. Um, what the problem is right now, what we're having to use in the industry is we're using stuff like dog packs and that sort of thing. What they inordinately do is put weight on the spine on the goat, which you just never want to do. Remember, they have spinous processes that come off the top. We have to rest the weight on each side of the ribs. And so they, the goats carry loads different than other animals. So what we've done is we've sewn, and Matt Lyon has come up with just a fabulous system. What we've done, we've sewn these to create space for the spine. And at the, the, the same time, you have zippers that let you insert and increase that load or decrease that load based on the go. Now, what we're gonna do, and always remember, that the zippers go to the back. So that's how you know. And so when you load this saddle on, you're gonna see that it's a double cinch. Now, double cinches are definitely the way to go and a very, very nice system to be able to come in and have really easy securing and good securing. Um, you'll see we want to create a little bit of tension and you want it behind that front shoulder blade and in front of the hip. So this is about right. I like that that front strap to usually be about a hand width from the armpit. So about right there is good. These guys are kind of shorter so they're a little bit different. We just pop that down over the tail. Now he's got a bridge in. Bring this up over. And now we have a saddle that's complete and ready to go. Now, the problem also with dog packs and such is that you constantly have the inability to weigh and balance the loads. Now, remember, this is a yearling. He weighs about 135 pounds. I'm going to put basically nothing on him. This is about five pounds, but it's going to give him an idea how to handle bulk. He's going to get used to a load being carried on his back. He's going to learn how to negotiate around things. Plus, it's nice to have a little guy carrying your water and your sandwich and, you know, your stuff in. The nice part about this is because they're two separate units, we can now weigh them and balance them. And remember, if I have six in one side and four in the other, as a percentage, that's super out of balance and will create a big issue on the trail. But because now we can weigh these. The other thing is when we first started experimenting with these, one of the things that babies will often do is run around and as soon as they run, these want to flap and it scares them. You don't want their first experience to be scared. So you actually have a clip on the back. So this is what you clip into first and that will keep it from bouncing. And then what we're gonna do, hang on buddy, is just clip these loads in and they're really, really simple. On one side and then the other. And again, first we'll clip in the securing point Hold still, buddy. And then this, and bam, we got a little trainer pack ready to go. And these aren't huge. You don't want them to be huge. You just want them to be functional. You want the goat to have an idea of how to carry it. And I advise that you use these on your yearlings and on your two-year-olds. But be very conscientious. This is not about carrying weight. It's about carrying bulk and learning how to negotiate with something on their backs that give them that experience. If they're gonna be along with you on the trail, good boy, then you want them to be able to be carrying a load so they get some experience with that. So there it is, the new kid saddle pack. Super excited to share them with you. So you can get these packs on packcoats.com as well as Bantam Saddle Tack. Now, as far as getting these off, what it's really nice and easy, which is pretty nice to have is a simple system to take off as well. You're just gonna clip the breast strap and you're gonna do the two cinches and then the whole system comes right off the back. So all in one, kinda easy. They don't have to worry about it. It's quick to get it off at the trailhead and you're ready to go.